How y'all doing and welcome to part 15. Well in this one, I've got three different genres for you. I've got fantasy, I've got action, and I've got family. Now if you can tell by just how it looks, I'll be showing this at the very end. Okay, but first, one of my favorite pieces from a movie called Chill Factor. I don't know how famous that it is. It's one of those movies that people sometimes see. Anyway, it's with Skeet Ulrich and Cuba Gooding Jr. This is the quote-unquote Elvis bomb. It's one of about probably five that, that exist. This is one of the hero ones. It is heavy. It weighs about, oh, a good 25 pounds. And inside are six of these vials. Okay, and this is supposed to be Elvis. It really isn't, but, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like this jelly stuff. Now, the piece actually does light up blue. It actually has blue lights inside. This one doesn't light up because I haven't recharged the batteries in probably about six months. So, uh, that, and of course, there is the clock. Now, for some reason, the clock doesn't work on this one, but I'm pretty sure it's because uh, uh, one of the wires on the inside of this came undone, because there is a loose wire in there. So, it's fixable. I just haven't done it. So, um, anyway, uh, let's go to the scene where this one was definitely used in, and I know that because of this bottom here. And I also got to see uh, the other ones. So, uh, there's actually two that were used in the bridge scene. Um, uh, one is a stunt one, and then there's this one. Um, and then there was a few others. Uh, one was actually used for uh, the lake of uh, one where, like, they actually put it in, into the water, and then there's two others. But they all had a very specific purpose, and um, it's pretty cool. So let's go to the scene where this guy was used in right now. Okay, let's go. Be long, gentlemen. And it won't be pleasant. But such is the price of patriotism. Bob. Hey! Hey! Shut up. We're gonna Shut up. die! Shut up. Everybody's linked up. Oh, pretty cool, huh? Well, in this last one, uh, Skeet um, switches out the the Elvis uh, thing um, in which to trick the bad guys. What ends up happening is he ends up putting it in this, which is this poker chip thing, and all of them are in this, are in these uh, vials. Uh, let's go to the scene where this one was actually used in. Okay, let's go. We need more ice. All right, there's a service station on the other end of the North Ridge Tunnel. They'll have ice. Okay, well, on to our fantasy film. This one is... The Hero Jade Skull from Phantom. I really love this particular piece. Now, the bottom actually opens up, and this piece actually runs on two batteries, normal batteries. Uh, unlike the uh, Chill Factor Elvis Bomb, that one actually runs off of batteries that's used for our remote control cars, so it's that big blue stick. This one just runs off of normal batteries, two of them and it just lights up the eyes. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, the batteries that this takes. Um, so I can't actually light it up for you. Uh, but um, uh, it is made out of a resin-like material and uh, the eye pieces were definitely hand done which is really kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of a opaque kind of a 
plastic, and somebody took a, you know, a, 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 a you, you know, a drill thing and and kind of cut out the you know cool shapes in there. It's a very cool piece. I'm really impressed with uh, this kind of work. Now this one is the hero one because if we turn it onto the side, the residue uh, stick is still on the side for when it was attached to the silver skull. There, th there's a silver one and then there's a gold one. And this one was used very specifically in one scene in which the two came together. And uh, this one actually came from the studio, so uh, I know it's real. And uh, so, let's go to the scene where this one was used in uh, right about now. Let's go. Something's happening. Did you guys think about where this stuff was used? Okay, well, if you guessed Home Alone 3, you're right on, okay? Now, uh, I got the complete wardrobe, except for the boots and this little cat thing. Don't ask me why. I, I didn't have any control over it. I kind of wish I had gotten them, but it didn't come in the lot. So, this is his uh, um, uh, jacket, uh, snow pants. Here's his hat and gloves, okay? And this is the scene where he's shuffling, and then you'll find out that he goes inside, he takes these off, and then he'll have this on, which is just a sweatshirt and pants. And then once he takes these off, he goes into his long johns, he's in the bathroom, and that's where he finds out that he has chicken pox. And all these are marked uh, with his actual name on the inside, which says Alex. Uh, not that you could get it confused with anybody else in the film. He is the smallest guy in there. So, let's go to the scene where these are used in. Let's go. Alex land the toilet seat down on his thing again. Bullseye. 